Hey, for those of you that have a car lift in your garage like this, or two posts or something like that, and you want to get more headroom out of your garage door, uh, I got a project for you. Right now, I got this garage door is about eight and a half feet high, and my ceiling is about 10 foot, 10 foot four. So what I did was bought some 30 inch radius horizontal pieces. This piece here, this one's a 12 inch radius. They go out to uh, 30 inches here, and a 30 inch radius will bring it close to the ceiling. So I'll have about three or four inches left, and I'll show you what I got for that. These are the parts I got for the project. I got the 30 inch radius horizontal piece. I bought a uh, brace to, for the ceiling to hold the back end of the horizontal piece to the ceiling. The 30 inch kit came with uh, all this stuff here, which I probably won't use, but I will use the rollers and the braces. And I, I maybe I'll put new ones on, I don't know. This is how close the garage door is to the car when it's up. And I still have about, uh, I don't know what was that. Maybe another six or eight inches to go, to go up. And if I remove the garage door opener here, remove that and raise this garage door up all the way to the ceiling, I can get some more room out of it. And then I can pull the car in forward too. My goal is to take this garage door opener and turn it into a jack shaft opener, which will attach to this pulley here, or to the shaft. Um, I'll take this garage door opener and mount it to the side of uh, the garage rail here, turn it sideways, it'll go the right direction, and then I'm gonna put a pulley that's the same size diameter as the, that pulley there for the cable on the end here. And I'll use the existing belt. I have a Chamberlain garage door opener that has cog teeth. And I'll give you uh, the description below. Alright, so I'm going to get started. I'll back these cards out, lower this lift, and uh, start taking everything apart and putting the new pieces on. Now first I'll have to remove these two nuts here. I already got everything loose and make this quick video quicker. Take these bolts out. And then go to the other side and uh, take the back bolt out. Now I'll take this bolt out. This is in the back. And this piece is ready to come down. So here's the difference in the radiuses. Uh, it's a 12 inch radius, 30 inch radius of course. So it gives you about an extra 18 inches from here to here. So it'll raise the garage door about 18 inches. And here's some things I overlooked when I was planning this project. Um, I need to have a clearance of three and a half inches above the rail for this door to fit. So I have the rail too close to the ceiling. It's right around two, just under two inches. And so I'm going to have to cut about two inches off of the straight piece over here to fix my mess up. So yeah, my mess up for the measurement on the ceiling here, I'm going to have to cut about two, about, actually about two and a quarter inches off of the straight piece, drill two new holes for this bracket, move this bracket down. All right, well, with the garage door up, I'm only about an inch away from the ceiling. It's pretty close. It's really close, actually. Um, I had to do a couple modifications, but that's how much higher it is than the other garage door. It's about roughly 16 inches higher. I used the new pulleys and I braced it up. You need a brace from here up to the pulley because that's a lot of weight that pulley is pulling on that cable. So you need to have a, a brace all the way down to here. I tensioned the spring enough so when the door is up, it's up right now, I tension it just enough so when I turn, just barely turn this, the door will start moving down. So I want, I want enough weight for the door to let itself go down so that it doesn't come off of this the cable doesn't come off the pulley I'll 
put it on this uh, shaft. And then I will use the belt from the garage door opener and use the garage door opener as a jack shaft garage door opener now. All right, do a quick recap of the project. Um, so if you do a 30 inch radius uh, horizontal piece, make sure you leave four inches of room up here between your ceiling and the top rail, a minimum four inches. And the, the only way I could do that was if I cut this horizontal piece down about two and a quarter inches and re-drilled new holes and moved this whole rail down about that far. So and if the guys that are interested in the jack shaft garage door opener, what I did was cut it at about six and three quarters inches off the end. I took the pulley out of here, how the garage door, I drilled two holes. There's actually two holes if you look on the other side. I didn't have a bolt long enough, so I just went a little ways in, but there's two holes right here and I put a little spacer, a nut spacer between there just so uh, this thing could slide down just a little bit further if it needed to. But that's what I did with that. And then I put the uh, eight millimeter belt uh, pulley with 40 teeth on it. It's about a four inch diameter with a one inch shaft hole. And I've seen those online for like 20, 20 to $25 for an all aluminum one, I think. And then uh, your belt is an 8M. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, I had to jack uh, the wood out for the garage door opener. I added just three pieces of three quarter inch. Um, let's see, what else? And then I supported the garage door opener back here just so it would be sideways. The only downside is sometimes this belt right here will flop. It'll snap against this when you open or close it, but that's not a big deal to me. Well, the project is complete. It all worked out good. Uh, jack shaft garage door opener is working good. I got more room, headroom now for the cars. I can pull it forward, put my truck in here, work on it. Um, and here we go. videos and they've helped you please subscribe to me um, I'm gonna do another project later uh, with a solenoid lock because I need to put a solenoid lock on this garage door because you can lift it um, and what I'll do is tie it into the light bulb so when the garage door comes on light bulb comes on the lock will release uh, I'll do that in another video so please subscribe if you like the music in the background my friend Chris Holland has uh, an album online and I'll put the link down below Check it out.